the camera so you can see my feet. And we're just gonna be yes. doing the um, uh, normal routine building, building exercises one after the other. Okay, so just focusing in the bottom part and uh, just in the footwork. So uh, my intention is when we get to a proper tabla de pies or so routine well built, we start putting arms in that tabla de pies as well. So we work on the coordination. But I want you to focus first on learning the all the exercises, and then we we'll just we can do nice variations as well at the same time that we're doing the footwork. So it's not only like yeah, I love that. I love doing that. But we need to be comfortable with what we're doing with our foot because that's the important thing to to improve. So I'll change to speaker view. So let me see. There we go. Oh, it's here. Uh, oh, why I don't see myself? I've done something wrong. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. 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 Let's put this uh, less clutter and maybe I'll put a bit more light. I don't know if that's, that's any better because uh, that light I think is pretty annoying on the reflection. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the, uh, uh, there we go, with the tabla de pies with golpe. One thing that I wanted to tell you is that keep in mind that we're working on a compass of 12, okay? So on soleares or alegrías or solea por bulerías or bulerías, whatever you want to choose depending on the speed, okay? So, uh, but for the sake of making it easier to count and for you to understand, I'm counting in eights. But really, I'll do just a brief explanation of that. So it's, it's uh, hopefully making sense. But I want to make the class as easy and understandable as possible and to be working on increasing the difficulty uh, uh, as we go along. But I don't want to overwhelm you with so many counting on the rhythm. I just want it for you to be doing the footwork on time but I don't want to be counting like crazy. So that makes sense. What we're doing when we're doing this uh, first uh, part with the golpes routine, we're doing, I'll just remind you, that it's just M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, sorry, six, I'm just trying to find seven, and eight, M1, M3, M3, M5, M6, M7, Okay, so I'm counting, as you can see, in eight, but we can count this in a compass of 12, like, for instance, solea, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. So we're doing absolutely the same. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah? That makes sense. So I'm doing absolutely the same rhythm, just using the uh, counts on a compass of 12, using the accent 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? But for the sake of the clarity and on working smoothly on the rhythm and counting all together at the same time, because it's easier, I'm just counting on eight. So that's why we do every exercise, one eight of every one, and then we come back. Okay, so one eight of single golpe, one eight of double golpe, okay, and one eight of triple golpe, which is gonna be double with the right and left, double with the left and right. Okay, makes sense. We've done this in the past uh, few classes, so hopefully it will be okay. Otherwise, it's recorded in the videos. So let's get this started. M5, sorry. There you go. M5, and six. And seven and eight, e one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and change and one and two and three and four and five and change and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and e one and two and three. And four and five and six and seven and eight 
seven and eight. Double and one. Okay, good. So that's the combination of the golpe for now, because then we're going to combine quite uh, different combinations. Good. Tabla de pies, the golpes. Single, double, and triple. Good. Uh, now we're going to go for the golpe tacón tacón. Okay, golpe tacón tacón. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. Y golpe with the right, tacón with the left, tacón with the right. Golpe with the left, tack on with the right, tack on with the left. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on. One, Each sound is as important as the previous one. So the golpe is as important What we're gonna do is to change the first golpe for a planta, so toes. It's same, same mechanism, but just with the toes instead of the golpe. Okay, so toes, heel, toes, 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 heel, heel, toes, heel. Remember to keep it steady, shoulders down, more engaged, strong, or slur, find to hold all these muscles of the core. Good. So now we're going to combine both, guys. So we're going to do eight times of the Golpe tacón tacón, golpe tacón tacón, eight times, and then we're gonna switch to the. That's the difficult to do with the, to the um, uh, planta. So toes, heel, heel, toes, heel, heel. I explained at the Tuesday's class about this. Uh, what we hit with the floor, which part of the foot. I took my shoe off and everything. Did the whole lot. So just if you have the chance, have a look at the Tuesday's class this week. So after, yeah, on the um, 14th. Uh, so then there's an explanation a bit more thorough about that. Okay, so eight of each. Let's go for it. Five, the six, and the seven, and the eight. E, one, golpe tacón tacón, two. Okay, next one. Next one. So same, we're going to introduce the tacón in this way. Okay. So instead of using the tacón just like this, we're going to use the tacón like this. Okay. So following with the same routine, it's just going to be 
adelanta, tacón, tacón. Ok, so. Planta, tacón, tacón. Planta, tacón. This one is new. I'm going to do it. I'm just, I'm opening it a lot to the front. That's not how I'm doing it later. It's just for you to see, okay? But later on, I'll just keep it where it is. But just to make it a bit more visible. I, mean, I don't know if I'm doing it correctly or not. Yeah, so just for you to see what's the mechanic. But then later, we just do it down here. That's gonna be the next one. Good, so we're gonna introduce uh, quite a few more tacones, which is gonna be more challenging. Okay. So, good, so, so far we've got the golpe tacón tacón, golpe tacón tacón, planta tacón tacón, planta tacón tacón, and now the planta tacón tacón, planta tacón tacón, planta tacón tacón, planta tacón tacón. Good, make sense? Each? Good, let's do it. The three together and then we'll introduce the last one. Okay? Good. Five and six and seven. Golpe tacón, tacón. Golpe tacón, tacón. Change, planta, planta, tacón, tacón, planta, tacón, tacón, three, four, five. I lost my balance because I was looking back. <laughs> planta, tacón, change, planta, tacón, change, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good, okay. So, so far we have the two variations, the um, uh, tabla of the golpe and the tabla of the planta tacón tacón, okay? So I just want you, let me see, let me just check. I don't have my homework here. Okay, we still have time to introduce one more. So we're gonna add one more to this one, yeah? So we're going to have a uh, different, let me see. Just this one, easy. Uh, we're gonna just work on one side. So with the planta tacón, tacón again, but just now the same side, okay? So we're just gonna do planta tacón, tacón. which is constantly changing. So right, left, and right. Left, right, and left, yeah? And now this one that we're introducing that is all the time with the same. So we repeat, right, right, left, right, right, left. Yeah? Then in the number, eight, seven, seven, and then we change. Make sense? One more time, this one. 
We're gonna try later on to do it just a tiny bit faster all together, but just is for clarity, it's good to learn slowly, okay? So this last one, seven and eight, E, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, one. Okay, good. You ready to do the four together? Let me see. Are you still there, guys? Yeah. yeah yes, <laughs> we're ready. Good. You're ready to do the uh, all together? Absolutely, yes. Good. Let's do it. So, uh, uh, uh. let's see. Figure me otherwise. I get lost. Uh, oh, jeez. This thing, I don't know if it's the. So suddenly I only see black. Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't know what you see, guys, but I was just seeing a black screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, ready? The full thing from the beginning, the four. Uh, five and the six. Let's do it. Seven and the eight. E. Golpe tacon, tacon. Golpe tacon, tacon. Three. Okay, good. I'm sweating. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I'm really working here. Okay, so, oh, good. Let me see. I'm just, uh, let me gather my things. Okay, any questions, guys? Any questions? Anyone want to ask anything? Uh, the video will be there so you can work on the. I'm trying to build different tablas de pies, so different combinations. So we can just work on it. And also, when you're in the studio, you can work much faster on the same combinations. Right. We had issues here uh, doing it faster because of the, of the speed of internet. So when I do it too fast, it, everything becomes like, because uh, it cannot pick up like you know, the, the connection, the, the feed that fast. So everything becomes really, uh, really difficult to understand. So what I thought is just, okay, we're gonna build up the same, the routines, everything very clear, slowly. And then you at your own pace at home or in the studio or wherever, just go for it. And the speed, you know, the sky is the limit. So <laughs> I was trying to do demonstrations here, but they were like so super messy every time we move very fast. So those are just the, the things that you know this virtual world is really good but obviously it's not like being in the studio is it so but for now and given the situation i think it's amazing that we can get together in this kind of virtual room so if you're joining me for castanets uh there's gonna be a bit late because we're gonna go out and um, my family and clap for the nhs which is now at eight i think it's gonna start soon so yeah, we'll start the Castanets class. I'll actually 
end the meeting in a second and then start the castanet meeting and then we'll go for the clapping and we come back i mean you don't need to join obviously but it's what i'm i'm going to do so that's why the castanet plus will start a bit just a tiny bit later i hope we're doing it i think it's a weekly thing now do you think it's happening isn't it yeah okay good good <laughs> okay guys hope to see you on tuesday or thursday again thank you so much and you're doing castanet see you later otherwise have a fantastic weekend love you all